Hey gang, Spada coming at you, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Reveal the Shield Turbo Tracks. Yep, I got a hold of this guy. So, as you can see in the vehicle mode is a very good throwback to his original Camaro or Corvette mode, but this mode, it's obviously a sports car, but it looks like a strange hybrid between an American muscle car and maybe a Nissan 370, uh, 370Z. But it's not a bad car. My chief complaint with this car in its mode is my figure, this rear part of the vehicle does not stay down. Now there have been some pictures of the figure coming out, uh, specifically some um, preview pictures, and this part of the figure will not stay down either. That's unfortunate because this is a very nice vehicle mode. The vehicle mode has really nice flames, a little bit tribal in the flame design, but the front of the grill and the rest of the car just look really nice, and I really like the car mode. Now, undocumented is its flight mode, to be me, to be a G1 reference. To do that, first off, we're going to come under here and pull off what are the missiles. We'll just put those off to the side. Come back here and fold the the wheels down, which is actually part of the transformation. Then we'll come here and we'll pop off the doors, and that's one issue with this figure. These doors are on these weird swivel hinges and they pop off really easily. So we'll do the same thing over here and rip the door off again off the hinges. Then take the doors and actually pull them out a bit. And then we can fold, put them flat and fold out the wings. And then you can put the missiles wherever you want. This isn't a bad flight mode, um, but in all honesty, I don't really care about the flight mode. It's just kind of a nice little, okay, yes, you can do this if you want, but it's not all that great. You can come in here and reattach the missiles, though, if you, if you so choose. Can't really attach it anywhere in the back like the G1 figure, unfortunately. Now, as I was saying, this mode is alright. It looks ridiculous on the shelf, however. But it's a nice G1 homage. Transformation for this guy is very, very much like the G1 figure. So to start off with, we'll grab the entire front of the car, loosen it from the, from the uh, front windscreen, and pull it forward to reveal the legs. Then we'll take the entire front section and do a 180. Split the front section apart to form the feet, or form the legs. And this is pretty cool. What you have to do is take the front grille, fold it down a little bit first, then come under the wheel and flip out the rest of the feet. So your actual heels for the robot mode are, in fact, the front grille of the car mode. That's actually going to uh, help the figure later with stability. For the rest of the transformation, we're going to come around back here, take the entire rear of the car and flip it up. Now when you flip it up, you'll notice that the arms are attached. The arms have these holes in it that have pegs right here. So we'll take the entire back of the figure and just kind of fold it up and out of the way. Next, we'll take the hood section and push, or I'm sorry, the top of the car, the canopy section, and push it straight up, revealing the head and actually spreading out the rest of the figure so that the arms can pull down. Now what I like to do is just pull the arms down a little bit, rotate the tires back out into the front, and then just position the arms as you would normally. Now, and I like to position it such that the tires are facing forward, and sometimes you just gotta get the things, the tires are on these swivel joint are on swivel joints, and sometimes they don't lock into place quite right. And we'll just play with the arms and get them in position. Next, we'll come around to the back, and as you can see, the gun is back here, so we'll go ahead and pop the gun off. Put that off to the side. Now you'll see when we pulled the doors out, the doors actually can fold up a good bit, about a, I'd say a 25-35 degree angle. And that allows you to put, position them behind the upper shoulders such that, such that he's a very much more Gen 1-esque. So the gun can fold out, and it's a missile gun, and you can actually peg it into different spots on the figure, which is nice. Very similar to um, to Dark Mount. If you can uh, even position it, you can even uh, peg it in down here on his foot. 
Gun fits nicely and snugly into the hand. It's not going anywhere, which is nice. Now, for the missiles, what you want to do with the missiles is fold the backpack down again, which is the rear of the vehicle, and snap the missiles into this gray piece, which folds in and out. Now, you have a couple of options here. What you can do is just keep them pointed down and stored in the backpack, which, honestly, I like the figure just like this. I like him without the backpack being deployed. The other thing you can do is actually fold the backpack out, take the missiles in this gray piece and fold them up, then collapse the backpack again, and this opening in the gray tab will actually fit quite nicely in these tabs right here in the back. Just kind of get the plug that in, and there we go. Now, as you can see there, those little gray tabs plug into the holes just behind the robot's head. So, posability for this figure is okay. Um, po front posability for the legs is severely hampered by the windscreen, but otherwise they're okay. My figure does have some slightly loose legs, but a little bit of nail polish or paint thinner will fix that. Arms are nice and tight, and they've got plenty. Of, they've got some good posability. Not plenty because pieces are get just get in the way, unfortunately. But you're just gonna have to deal with it. Rub symbol. Rub symbol works. Yes, rub symbol works. Good, good, good. Only problem with the rub symbol that I have. Why isn't it centered? Are these put on manually or are they put on by robots? I've, every picture I've seen of this figure, the rub symbol's in a different place. Mine's pretty darn close to center, so I'm gonna, I could deal with it, but it just kind of throws off my OCD a little bit. So, figure is about the standard deluxe size of, uh, that the current deluxe figures are. So, let me go ahead and show you that this figure compared to the Classics line. Classics Hot Rod, or Rodimus, and then we've got uh, War for Cybertron Bumblebee. So, as you can see, he pretty much fits in with the size of uh, the current Deluxes, which, hey, very, very nice. So, posability is okay, but highly limited, due to all the uh, kibble. As, a home, as an homage to G1 tracks, this figure is great. It works really, really well. There are, however, some severe issues with this figure, chief of which is these ball joints are very loose. They're not super loose where, okay, he's in danger of falling over all the time, but if he's just a little bit off balance, it's going to collapse. Hip joints are pretty loose. This is a top-heavy figure simply because of the backpack and all the kibble stuff you've got going on here. Backpack. It's not bad. I, I just wish it could be smaller. My chief complaint is, as you saw in the car mode, it's a pain in the butt. However, if you are a G1 fan and you liked tracks as a kid or growing up, I would recommend this figure. I think he's a good figure as a Generation 1 homage. There are some problems. There are some small problems that most of these can be fixed or overlooked. The amount of kibble on the figure, you know what? Just gonna have to deal with it. It's there. But I've really gotten to like this figure in the fact that it looks like Trax. For all intents and purposes, this is Trax. This is a proper um, homage to the G1 figure. Trax wasn't very prevalent in the original show, but oh, but it's a very, very nice uh, throwback to the figure. So I want to actually do a reverse transformation for this guy simply because oh, that was the wind closing the door. Simply because I think it's important for you to see how the arms transform because that really threw me for a bit. So we'll just quickly go ahead and return him to vehicle mode and. This is probably my biggest nagging complaint about the figure. The transformation, I'm not a fan of. It's the, it's very one, it's a very G1 transformation. And I understand why they did it. But 
you're going to lose these missiles, you're going to lose these guns, especially if you hand that, hand that. If you hand this figure off to a kid, you're going to lose these components. That's just going to happen, like I said, if you give this to an actual child and not a, uh, a man-child like myself. So, it's not a bad figure. That's one thing that I think I really need to get across. This is not a bad figure. There are a lot worse figures out there. It's not the best figure either. It definitely has some issues, but those issues I can look past because in robot mode, he looks so good in robot mode. Now, as I said, the arms are a little bit tricky getting them transformed. What you're going to do is, as you can see, the ball joints are going to be pointing straight up. You're going to collapse the hands, or you're going to put the hands forward, and then all you're going to do is collapse the arms to this point. Just make them straight out. Then, when you come back, you'll raise the back here, and you will actually snap the arms into the back first. Then you will put the gun in, and that goes in all the way. Once the gun is in, then you can lower the, can the rear canopy, and then you can get everything lined up. That took me a while to figure out. I actually had to sit and watch, um, take some, look at some pictures and sit and watch things. Sometimes, ah, and you see, Doing it correctly will actually yield you a better transformed figure. The first time I tr tried to transform him, the first couple of times, it ended in disaster and looked terrible. So I really thought that that was important that I show you guys that little bit. So here we are in car mode again. Very, very, very good homage to the original Trax figure. A decent figure on his own. Would I recommend him? Like I said, if you really want a Gen 1 figure in the classic style, yes, I would recommend Turbo Tracks to you. If you're not a fan of finicky figures, stay away. This figure is very finicky, at least mine is very finicky, and very, I don't want to say temperamental, but it is a little bit difficult to deal with sometimes. If you've got to have the super clean lines in vehicle mode, stay away from this guy because the lines are not super clean. I'm sorry, they just aren't. But the robot mode makes up for it for me. I really like this robot mode. Get it when you can. I picked this guy up off of KO Toys. It's not cheap, but for me, I think it's worth it.